Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video we will be taking a look at fixing Armored Core 6 controller issues. So if you're trying to use the controller in the game on your PC, but it's just simply not working, perhaps some of the buttons aren't working correctly, or the controller just isn't being detected, then don't worry because we will be taking a look at what you can do to fix that in this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just launch up Armored Core 6. As you can see, I've got it on my screen at the moment, and I've also got a PS5 controller plugged in. So what you want to do is just simply go down to System, and we then want to go down to Controller Settings. So at the moment, I've got Controller Assignments Type A selected. What we want to do is select this, and we then want to go to Type B. Give that a go and see if that resolves the issue that you're having. I know this is going to change around some of those um, buttons, but until a update gets released that resolves the type that you're having issues with, you will have to use a different type. Alternatively, you can select this and go to custom one and you can edit and just set your own controls. So first off, try type B or type C and if none of those work, then do custom and then just select your own buttons. The next thing to do also, as you can see, like I said, my controller's actually plugged in via the USB port in my PC. So go ahead and grab a cable if you're using wireless um, connection on your controller and just plug it directly into your computer using the cable and then try playing the game again and see if that resolves the issue that you have it. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is also close down the game. So I'm just going to go ahead now and back out. Now the next thing that you need to do is open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, go to your game library and then find Armored Core 6 in your games list. Right click on it and go to properties. You then need to go to controller. And you then need to click on this option here that says use default settings. If yours says disable, then change it to use default settings. If it's already on that option, then select enable Steam input. Once you've done that, close this down and go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the issue that you're having. Now if that didn't resolve the problem, the next thing that we want to do is select Steam in the top left hand corner, go to settings and we then need to go to controller. Once you're on controller, you need to click on begin test. Now go ahead and grab your controller and just ensure that the controller is working as it should. You can see that I'm pressing all the buttons and they're highlighting and it works, it's fine. Now if some of the buttons aren't working correctly or whatever, just click on this button here that says reset device inputs. Once you've done that, now go ahead and try it again and hopefully that might have helped resolve some problems. If it didn't, then the next thing I'd suggest is you could try another controller. If you still want to use the controller that you have plugged in and see if the next methods help fix the issue that you're having, then go ahead and do that. So let's close this down and we now need to stay on this controller setting window and we want to scroll down. You're now going to see this option here that says enable Steam input for PlayStation controllers or whatever controller you have plugged in. If you have an Xbox controller plugged in or a Switch controller or whatever, just ensure it's toggle to on. If it's already toggle to on like mine is, it's blue, just toggle it to off and then just simply toggle it back on again. Now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped resolve the issue that you're having with your controller not working in the game. Now the next thing that we want to do is close down Steam and close everything down if you're still having issues and we're going to go ahead and use a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up now. Now once you've got Easy Gamer Utility by clicking on the link in the description below, you will then end up with a window that looks like this. Go ahead and click on the Fix tab and then go all the way to the bottom. Now on the free version of the program, you will get free attempts at fixing the game. Now hopefully this is going to resolve the issues that you're having with the controller. This is more aimed for fixing issues such as crashing and not launching and stuff like that, but it could still also help with the controller issues that you're having. So we need to go ahead and click on Browse and we then need to locate the Armored Core 6 um, .exe. Go ahead and click on Open. You then need to select Steam from the list and then go Attempt Fix. Now this is now going to attempt to fix Armored Core 6. It's going to run through a different load of troubleshooting methods and things like that and then it's going to launch the game. So allow this to run and stuff. If the game doesn't launch then it just can find the 
um, location or something went wrong so just launch the game manually it doesn't matter it still ran through all the um, fixes and everything that it needed to do so you can see there steam's open now and it's about to open up the game see if that resolved the issue that you're having with your controller hopefully it did if it didn't don't panic because we still got another method or two that we can do that should hopefully help I'm just going to allow this to run for a second as I don't want to interrupt it. So the next thing to do is ensure that you don't have any USB adapters for Bluetooth or anything like that plugged into your USB ports on your computer as it could easily be conflicting with your controller causing it to not work correctly. Also if you do have a headset or something like that plugged in as well just unplug everything other than your controller, keyboard and mouse and then try the game again and see if that helped. Now that does bring me to the end of this video. I hope one of the methods in the video helped resolve the issues that you're having with your controller. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.